Hello, so today we're going to present on our project, which is to leverage NLP for essay scoring. Our main goal is to accurately predict essay scores. Uh, essays are an important metric for academic achievement, but they're expensive and time consuming for teachers to grade them by hand. So with an automated scoring system, uh, we will have a fast and effective way to mass grade essays. And teachers can use the time and resources saved to focus on more important tasks. So the data set comes from a Kaggle competition. It contains eight types of essays, around 1,000 essays per type. Uh, each type of essay has a different scoring metric, and this explains the performance differences between the essay sets. So the methodology is that we follow a standard NLP process where we vectorize the essays. Two forms are Dr. Vec and Bird. Uh, we use an evaluation metric of a quadratic weighted Kappa score, where we uh, it's a basically the agreement between the human and the machines. We fit several models, focusing on feedforward neural network and LSTM. Um, Fine-tuning is performed after five cross-validations. So our pre-processed uh, attributes were word count, uh, which is the number of words, and mistake count, which is the number of grammatical and punctual errors, and reading ease, which comes from a package called TextStat, uh, returns a metric for how easily the text is um, to comprehend. Uh, we ran a logistic regression using the engineered features, which gave us a cross-validated kappa score of around 0 0.29. So next we explore BERT, bidirectional encoder representation from Transformer. BERT is one of the newest NLP methods. It is pre-trained and developed by Google. The objective of BERT is that they want to understand human language through the use of transfer learning. Uh, BERT is also trained with a large data set from Brown Corpus and the entirety of English Wikipedia. So we chose BERT because it understands the context of words, such as that bank in a river bank is different from bank as a financial institution. There are conditions to be uh, that are required for using BERT-based model, which we will discuss in detail in the report. So after which, we take the BERT output and we use it as an input for the SVR model, to support, a, support vector regression, after which we tune the hyperparameters and we achieve an average Kappa score of 0.74, compared to a logistic regression of 0.3. Another technique we used for pre-processing the essays was DocTVec. To understand DocTVec, we must first understand WordTVec. WordTVec is a neural network that predicts a word given the surrounding words or vice versa. The idea is that words that appear in the same context have similar meanings. We can use the weights from the neural network to form word vectors. These word vectors can have numeric operations performed on them. What we'll be using in this project is DocTVec, using the same idea as WordTVec so we add a document ID vector to the neural network input. We choose DocTVec as unlike other alternatives, it captures information with word ordering and word placement. It can handle documents of different lengths. So for a neural network, we're trying uh, two different methods. One of which is feed forward the neural network. It's basically the simplest uh, neural network model we can find. And to be compared to our next model, which is long short term memory. It's a special kind of recurrent neural network where it took the memory as a feature. So in neural, in natural language processing, usually uh, words has a uh, context meaning behind it. And so LSTM captures the one directional context on it. For our results, we see that all our models outperform the baseline model. In particular, BERT with support vector regression performs the best out of all of them. And feed forward neural networks seem to perform better than Dr. Vec. As mentioned before, these are all fivefold cross validated, and here's a visual representation of the table before. Yeah, and um, so we conclude uh, with like every model doing uh, better than a baseline. Bert and Dr. Beck produces like useful outputs. Further fine tuning can be found in our report, uh, so please refer to our report. Uh, thank you. This is our citations.